Hi guys, I'm Express and today I'll be talking about the difference uh, between AMD drivers and for comparison I've taken AMD Catalyst 15.7 and the latest driver which is Crimson Edition 15.11. Now, let's see. Um, these are my PC specs here, HD5770 slightly overclocked. Core i3 overclocked at 4 GHz, 8 gigs of RAM and so on. Now let's get to FPS and performance difference. Um, okay, so on the left side here uh, we see Catalyst uh, driver score and on the right side is the Crimson Edition. Uh, I tested uh, it with two games, Rainbow Six Siege I believe and Mafia 2. And for the third uh, benchmark, I used the Nova Bench. Uh, I used full screen and 16 times uh, anti aliasing. Now, for the Rainbow Six uh, Siege with the Catalyst driver, uh, this is what I scored. Now, uh, 17 was uh, minimum FPS, 46 was maximum. Oh, uh, sorry, average. Okay, so 46 was average and the maximum FPS uh, doesn't really matter. Uh, now, if we take a look here, uh, I scored 27 for minimum, uh, which is 10 more FPS compared to the Catalyst version. Uh, 48 was average FPS, which means that we gained 2 FPS, not much, but still 2 more FPS. And again, uh, maximum FPS doesn't matter in this case. Um, now uh, Mafia 2 uh, when using Catalyst I scored 43 FPS on average and with the Crimson Edition it was 45 so again uh, we see that we got uh, two more FPS here. Uh, one more thing that I noticed in Mafia was that my minimum FPS was higher when using Crimson Edition software, so that's good. Now for the Nova Bench, uh, when using Catalyst, I scored 579, and with the Crimson Edition, it was 603. So we do have a better performance here with the Crimson Edition once again. Now one more thing is uh, with the Catalyst driver, if when you would launch it you have to right click on your desktop click AMD and you see how this uh, with the crimson crimson edition it starts right away and with the catalyst software it would take up to 10 seconds to actually launch it now uh, here if you open the crimson edition settings like I just did uh, you'll see that it's completely different uh, than the um, catalyst driver um, here you have your settings, gaming, uh, here you can edit your game profile, you can change um, AA, uh, filtering mod, textures, all that sort of stuff. Here video settings, uh, when you're watching movies on your PC you can change the brightness and contrast I believe. Display settings, um, these two settings are not available for me since I am using uh, the older GPU which is 5000 series. But I believe that if you have a GPU uh, at least 7000 series, you can use these two options. Also, there is uh, GPU scaling and scaling mo mode, of course. Affinity, if you have multiple monitors. System here just gives you basic uh, information about your system system's hardware. Okay. Uh, also, you have a, a bit more advanced settings if you go to the home page here and then click preferences and radeon additional settings which launches the something like the catalyst uh, here you can uh, change the color set saturation well, contrast actually but okay um, here you can also change or use custom resolutions if you like that I don't know um, also here color correction Mm, also, here you can add your own custom resolution, and that's pretty much it. But all in all, 
I can say that the Crimson Edition does offer more performance and is better than the previous uh, Catalyst driver. Okay, thank you guys, that's it. If you like this video, click on like, subscribe if you want. Thank you and goodbye.